Hello, Grace Covenant. Happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday, May 19th, just a few days before we celebrate Pentecost and the end of the Easter season. Can't believe that it's already May 19th, that we are well into spring and now looking towards summer. If you look behind me, so I'm, I'm in my church office now, and if you look behind my shoulder here, um, you can see that the, the beautiful tree that's in our courtyard, it's in full leaf. I came across a poem by the poet Philip Larkin that I wanted to share with you all this morning as our, um, as our devotion. It's about how the change of seasons reminds us that life begins again. And this reminder is also a call to us to, to also begin again. Um, to use Christian uh, terms, to see where God is calling us today. To stop and to fill the Spirit to breathe and to fully appreciate this day. And yeah, to discern where the Spirit is calling us this day. This is The Trees by Philip Larkin. I'll read it twice. The trees are coming into leaf, like something almost being said. The recent buds relax and spread. Their greenness is a kind of grief. Is it that they are born again and we grow old? No, they die too. Their yearly trick of looking new is written down in rings of grain. Yet still the unresting castles thresh in full grown, full grown thickness every May. Last year is dead, they seem to say. Begin afresh, afresh, afresh. I'll read that one more time. The trees are coming into leaf, like something almost being said. The recent buds relax and spread. Their greenness is a kind of grief. Is it that they are born again and we grow old? No, they die too. Their yearly trick of looking new is written down in rings of grain. Yet still the unresting castles thresh in full-grown thickness every May. Last year is dead, they seem to say. Begin afresh, afresh, afresh. What does that last line mean to you this this Wednesday, Grace Covenant. Begin afresh, afresh, afresh. For me, it is a call to stop, to breathe in the new spring air, and to see where the Spirit is calling. Where is the Spirit calling you this um, today? Is it calling you perhaps to rest? Is it calling you to reach out to a friend or someone who needs to hear your voice? Is it calling you to a time of devotion, perhaps study and reading? Is it calling you to service and partnership? Whatever it is, I do hope that you'll take some time to remember that each day is a gift, that each day is a calling to begin afresh. And for that, we say thanks be to God. Amen.